Thank God I thought of this. Now I'm blind. What's up, Hackers? It's Goldie Blocks, and we're doing another giveaway. This one is with Sarah from So Craftastic. I love her, she makes such cute DIYs. We're giving away a rose gold MacBook. It's a little different from last year because we gave a gold MacBook. I just wanted to change it up, you know? And as always, we're giving away a Goldie Squad wrench necklace because it's the symbol of the squad. All you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel and So Craftastic, and this is a little new, but comment. Most important, comment down below. You can enter in as many times as you want. Just be creative and make it memorable. In the meantime, this is going to be my first life hack challenge. 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 Are you scared? Okay. <laughs> I am challenging Sarah to hack the most epic toolbox for all of our DIY supplies. I'm going to make one, she's going to make one, and you guys are going to vote of who's the winner. It's on, girl. Behold, it looks like any other ordinary toolbox. No, it doesn't. I created a name for my tricked out toolbox. Her name is Tribeca. First of all, it starts with the T because alliteration is pretty cool, bro. Second reason is because it has three DIYs within it. Notice, try. Then the third reason is because I thought it sounded funny. Okay. So three DIYs in it, customizing the outside, customizing the inside, and uh, filling tools in it. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> First, get yourself a toolbox. Pretty much any toolbox will work. This one's looking a little boring, so let's embellish it. We have this cheetah print that I put on everything. It's my spirit animal tape. And then we have some gold hearts for my Goldie Squad fan. Then we have this camouflage because you don't want anybody to take your stuff. No one will see it. It will blend in with its surroundings. Now we use letter stickers to customize the side of the toolbox. Yeah, this is mine, you guys, in case you didn't know. I also added this amazing orange fuzzy fabric on the top. and it sheds, just like Ricardo. Toupees are supposed to shed. I need more of this orange fuzz in my life. Let's trim the handle. Finally, I added magnetic flashlight to the outside. Look at that. Magic. I'm kidding, it's a magnet. Magnet magic. I think I created something. You know what? I'm gonna decorate some stickers right now. Because if you don't have Felicia on the front, are you actually tricking out a toolbox? So we have Felicia. She's gonna go yeah. Then we have a hammer that I have not yet named. He's an orphan at the moment, but I will make him my child. A saw. I'm just gonna add the saw. A flat head screwdriver. There we go. And then we have some pliers. Some handy dandy, need to know pliers. Yes, we have more, but that will be in the second DIY. Yes, we decorated the outside and it looks pretty fly. You know, it's what's on the inside that counts. Everybody works differently on how like you want things to be organized. See me, I bet you will start organized, maybe for like two weeks, and then I'll lose something and it'll become a tornado, or I will become a tornado, and it will be house that I destroy within the tornado. But it's okay because Tribeca can handle it. I love when I ramble. On to, I just love opening it very dramatically. It's very fun. One thing that I customized that I thought was pretty cool was the, yes, this. It's basically like a sling for my scissors. I made it out of like sparkly, like stretchy hair ties. I did this because like I love my scissors. They're so heavy duty. I literally use them in every single hack. 
So I just like kind of put that up there because that's the one I use the most. If you use, I don't know, tape often, you can like sling some tape up there. If you use staples, I mean, you do you. You can put staples there. Go wild. These are my favorite things to like organize things with. These are silicone cupcake holders. They are the... They're the bomb, literally. They just went everywhere. <laughs> Add that to my cleanup list. They're really easy to organize things with and they're colorful and they're happy and they're easy to clean. That's the whole part of customizing. It's making it your own because that's what customizing means, Goldie. And now the best part, filling it with stuff. What's the point of a toolbox if there's nothing in it? There's none. Let me show you what I have in my toolbox. Just all my little cupcake silicone liners. I really hope they don't fall out. You can see it, chill. Basically, the essentials, right? So we have this little clip. Batteries, some clothespins, some mini traffic cones. So if you're having like a little hack that you're doing, you're like, vacate the premises. We're doing a hack. Mom, don't step on the cones. Respect the authorities. And then we have some washers for your laundry. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're washers for like nuts and bolts and stuff to like keep stuff together. And then we have a light bulb, little white nails that are adorable. Some washi tape because good old washi tape. And then we have some pom-poms because they're so cute. And like just to decorate everything with and just to keep you positive. And you, you can just throw them at people. That was a terrible throw. We're just not gonna talk about it. And then we have some marbles. If your hack doesn't go the right way, you're like, I lost my marbles. You'd be like, no, I got them right here. Keep you sane. And then we have some screws. They hold stuff together. Some giant glittery push pins for like having a conversation, stick in a minute and be like, hey, we're gonna save this conversation for later when I finish my hack. Okay, just like hold it there. Stay, stay. Are you staying? And then we have some nuts. Some goldfish, because essential. Who doesn't need a goldfish in all their hacks? Everybody needs a goldfish. They're Nemo, you have to find them. And that is the first level. The second level, as you already met, the light, and right here, we have a candy thermometer because apparently candy thermometers and real thermometers are different. I did not know that until I was like making candy. They're pretty important in candy making, so don't make the same mistake as me. <gasps> this is the green one. That's why it turned green, it's burnt. Then we have some wire cutters. They cut things, mainly wires, because they're wire cutters. Good old double safety. The more heavy duty wire cutters, some more wire cutters. <laughs> If you sense a theme, I'm a wiring girl. An X-Acto knife, some drill bits. Everybody needs a lot of drill bits, so you have options. Handy dandy gloves, some more stickers, a rubber band ball, comes in handy more than you think. Some Allen wrenches to wrench stuff into place. We have some wire strippers. No, it's not an alligator mouth. That's what I thought when I first saw one too. You just strip wires for you. And then we have some fully insulated snap conductors, hole puncher, and a whole bunch of screws. Make it rain. Yeah, that's really all the essentials, guys. I can't invent stuff without my goldfish or my traffic cones. Just putting it out there. That's it, you guys. And make sure to check out so craftastic version of this toolbox. Remember, fight to the death of who designed it better. And don't forget about the giveaway, the giveaway. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to her channel, and comment down below. That's how we're picking our winners. Typey, typey, enter, typey, typey. So uh, yeah, Goldie Block signing off.